My name is Grace Lynch. My name is Mike. My name is Rebecca Farrar. In the Next Room, where the vibrator play by Sarah Rule is a Pulitzer-nominated, Tony-nominated, gorgeous play about hysteria. Female hysteria was what they dubbed basically anything and everything that was wrong with women. There is a doctor who is using a vibrator to treat women of hysteria. Where they would be serviced by vibrators and have paroxysms or orgasms as we call them now and suddenly we're magically better. I play Mrs. Daldry. Mrs. Daldry is one of the patients in the show. Society has led her to believe that she's very sick. I play Mr. Daldry. His first name is Dick, so that's kind of an indication of his personality. He pretty much knows what he wants and goes for it. He doesn't care too much about what other people think. I'm the director of In the Next Room, which directing a play pretty much entails conceiving of it from the ground up. I have to say I was blessed with the most brave group of actors possible. The woman who plays Mrs. Daldry, who has to go through, I think we blocked out six separate paroxysms. So they're, they're very different. I know, I know I said six, and we refer to them by numbers, but each one of them is just a very different place in Mrs. Daldry's life and a very different experience and just going through these I guess I'm just trying to be the most authentic to Mrs. Daldry. This doesn't exist in the era of digital pornography so there's no idea of what a woman should sound like when that happens to her. It's just a release emotionally, physically, that should be clear and nothing more. These women in this show in the 1880s have to go through this whole experience of realizing that there is a sexual element to being a woman and that that's not only okay, but actually better for them in the rest of their lives and their relationships with people in order to feel like a full-blown human being. Because they're not all, I mean, I know we like, oh, we say orgasm and we get all like scandalized and it's sexual, but in this show, in this setting, it's not about that at all because that's just not something that was discussed or something that anybody knew anything about in words that they could talk with. The fact that women still aren't really given that option, that that's still something that we have to fight for and find on our own and primarily have to find in a hidden way is just absurd in my opinion. And this play does a beautiful job of literally smacking us in the face with that.